Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another deck review. This is not an unboxing, this is a deck I've had for a while and I simply love it. And I think right now is a good time to um, show you guys if you're not aware of it. It's a little bit different. It can be used as an Oracle deck. However, it's not really advertised, I don't think, as an Oracle deck. This is Mudras for Waking the Energy Body. It's a deck and book set written by Alison Dinokula, artwork by Sabina Espinet. So this is Mudras for Waking the Energy Body. It's a set of 40 colorful cards illustrating 33 mudras and seven chakras. By directing energy and awareness, mudras can deliver numerous benefits for both physical and emotional wellness. The 112 page illustrated guidebook presents instructions for the poses, information about their health benefits and guided meditation. So I don't know how much this retails for, but it's an older um, book set published by us game systems. So if I do not pronounce it correctly, I apologize. Those who have been watching me for a while know that I do not pronounce anything the right way. <laughs> so no disrespect. It's just, you know, I fail. All right. So opening it up, you are presented with this beautiful little book here and it is pretty in depth. It's great. So, um, it's color coordinated as well. So first of all, um, it talks about the backgrounds and histories of mudras, um, how to awaken it, and then it has um, how to use the cards, and then all of the information about each card. So um, basically, it's talking about how to move the energy through your body, how some of our chakras get stuck, um, and what to maybe focus on. And so basically, it's using your intuition. If you're pulling a certain card, um, it might be uh, an opportunity for you to focus on that particular chakra or that particular mudra in order to help blockages and move the energy around. Okay, so the mudras deck is designed to be used in multiple ways. As you begin, you will see that there is one card for each of the seven main chakras, which are the centers in the energy body. The chakra cards depict the imagery of the chakra and many of the qualities associated with each energy center. Each chakra card connects through color, qualities, sound, symbol, area, or system of the body and element. The remaining 33 cards are mudra cards, which have a keyword on the front of the card, along with a beautiful representation of the pose. The back of each card identifies the name of the mudra, the qualities inspired, the physical and emotional benefits, how to do the pose, cautions if any, and a focused affirmation that may be used while practicing the mudra. These cards are color specific to the chakra that they support. In many cases, the mudra will activate more than one energy center as they are combined with breath, awareness, and movement. In addition to the mudras, descriptions on the cards, this guidebook also provides ideas for putting your mudras work into practice through guided meditation, chanting, and visualization. So um, what we are doing is intuition and the cards selecting a card at random can be a wonderful and intuitive way to work as well. You may shuffle the cards, quiet the mind, ask for higher guidance, whether to the divine or your higher self and see which card is selected, noting its quality, keyword, energetic connections, and the affirmation. Very often when, uh, when we work in this manner, we receive the perfect message without effort. You may also use combinations of cards to help guide your focus. And then they have the three cards spread here, card care, and then it goes through the chakras and then the five elements in your hand, meanings, and then color and energy. And then it goes through each of the cards here. So I'm very impressed with the book. Um, I'm very impressed with the different ways that you can use this deck. So we will go through and they're more of a square than a rectangle, which I kind of really like. It's easy for your pull if you pull a card a day for meditation. So the back actually has all of the um, keywords, instructions, and focuses on it, which is fantastic. So there's no real like back um, uh, artwork of the card. But we'll go through and we'll s and I'll show you each of the cards here and you know, keep in mind of the uh, colors as well. So I think the first um, six cards are the sh seven cards are the chakras. I think it's seven, but it'll go through um, it's six. I, oh, no, seven. I was right. Okay. <laughs> but it will show you all of the um, stuff on the back, all the information on the back. 
So again, for pulling a card a day, it's really awesome if this is what you need to focus on um, to meditate or whatever. And now these are the hand positions and um, what the mudra is called and what it's for. And then on the back, you'll have all of the information as well. So um, these are ways to help you in your meditation. If you um, just need to do it for a few minutes during your day, it's what maybe to focus on if you pull it. Maybe it's something that's going to help you out throughout your day. I highly suggest these. I don't use these enough as I should, um, but when I do pull the cards and I do the um, suggested mudra, it does help. I know I have plenty blockages. I know we all do, especially now with everything going on. Um, it's a little bit harder to keep your body open and um, your chakra energy moving along, right? We're a little bit more blocked. So I'm really impressed with these cards. Um, I just feel like it was something that I needed to share. And um, if you actually uh, use mudras or practice it, I should say, let me know how it works for you because I feel different when I use them, especially when I take time out and I just, you know, sit and quiet my mind with a little bit of um, meditation. I'll choose one and it usually helps tremendously. So hopefully this helps you guys out if it's something that you're interested in. The cards are definitely beautiful. They are um, sturdy cards and I have not had a problem shuffling them. They're just a little bit different to get used to. Like every deck that you, every new deck you get, you have to get used to the shuffling. But yeah, they're beautiful. I love the color coordination. As a beginner, these are really great cards because even if you pull one, you don't necessarily need to go to the guidebook every time. You can look at the back and get quick um, instructions and a focus, the benefits, and what it assists. So what I will do is I'll show you how they shuffle, and then we will pull a card, or sometimes the card likes to pop out for me. And then um, we'll read how it would work if you pulled one card a day. So they shuffle really, really nice this way. And then shuffling it this way is nice too. They glide really well. There's a little bit of a glossiness to it, which I don't mind. Um, it's not terrible. All right. So we'll go ahead. All right. And we've got the spiritual truth, the Dharma Chakra Mudra. So this is number 38. And what's great is you can go into the book and it'll show you the number at the top. And you can also go by color too. So we have the Dharma Chakra Mudra. And so basically it goes into a little bit more of um, the instructions here. It assists with integration, illumination, and vision. The benefits are balances all systems and energy centers of the body, supports full yoga, yogic, yoga, yeah, breathing, enhances sense of well-being. And then it gives you the instructions on how to do the mudra and a focus, which is I awaken the vision of my highest truth. And then the practice, which isn't on the card here. It says awaken the right energy channel by breathing in through the right nostril and out through the left. Continue for a few rounds. Allow the breath to equalize, inhaling and exhaling through both nostrils. Exhale breath from the left nostril, awakening the left energy channel. Inhale left nostril, exhale right nostril. Continue to breathe like this for a few rounds. Feel balance pulling you to center. Feel the breath now as full deep yogic breath. Notice the integration of right and left brain and sides of the body. So that's just an example of one card a day pool. This is just my opinion. I particularly love this deck because it makes you pause and think and really do your breathing, really do the mudras, really do your inner thinking. So I feel like it's something that is beneficial, especially right now. 
Um, and each of the cards are color coordinated. It's perfect for beginners because when I started using these, I was a beginner. I only knew a few mudras and mudras, mudras, and um, I knew that they helped, but I didn't know exactly what for. I knew, you know, this one, and that was basically it. So it helps, it helps beginners. If you're interested in this, it will help relax you. It will help focus you. I definitely, um, uh, recommend these. I feel like they're great cards if you um, use them for divination or not. If you just use them strictly to help you with your yoga or your meditation, perfect. If you use them for divination, I feel like they're very accurate. Every one that I pull for myself, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes complete sense. So um, I feel like that works for me. Um, let me know if you want me to start using these in pick a card readings too. Um, and you know, see if that might help you that way too. Um, kind of use them a little bit like our self care, like the self care Oracle. Um, so let me know. Um, and if you use mudras, let me know down in the comments, let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. And, um, let me know if this is something that you think might help you because it definitely helped me. And so I will be using it a lot more. So yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you own these, let me know all of your opinions, thoughts, and, um, don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell on your way out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. I love you guys. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.